In 2008, the United States announced that we are going to bring Ukraine into NATO. It meant that Russia was going to have to accept an enemy army with nuclear weapons right on its border. It's the equivalent of setting up a Russian or Chinese military base in Tijuana. It was not possible for any Russian president to accept this. The senators voting for these massive aid packages for Ukraine could not find Ukraine on an outline map of the world. It is all about Russia and how many Ukrainians died and how much destruction and devastation is rained down on that country is irrelevant to us. Actually, we are gleeful that no Americans are dying and we're just pushing others to fight. We now have reliable reports that over 100,000 Ukrainian soldiers have we died. We say NATO's got to go so the people can live in peace. We say NATO. We say NATO's got to go. Got to go. Got to go. We say NATO's got to Go so the people can live in peace. More in the 140th day of the destruction of Gaza, we are here to say stop the war on the poor. We have a right to life again, liberty and the pursuit of justice. We have a right to be educated, to live in peace on the earth with clean water and air and food. It is our right to have a just cause if we have any more breath in us that are hitting that mark, we got to suit up one more time. Are you ready to suit up? Yes. Are you ready to say we ain't gonna study war no more? Yes. Are you ready to say that every human being in this country has a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Yes. In part, because I'm Jewish and I was born in 1946. My parents taught me three primary lessons from the Holocaust. Never again to anyone, anyone, taught me never to turn my head away in the face of injustice. I think we all know why we're here. And I think we all know that if we're going to change American policy, if we're going to stop the killing in Gaza and Ukraine, we've got to be taking action tonight, tomorrow, next week, and next month. Coming to a rally is important, uh, but what's most important is how we push our government, those who claim to represent us, to do what we need. That's what a government is supposed to do. A government is supposed to protect and serve the people. Thank you. In the urban centers of this country, where lives are considered unimportant, where it's considered okay by our ruling class to simply create a genocide against the Palestinians. It is a sick system we live in. The song that I'm about to sing was inspired by Chris Hedges, who wrote a book about sacrifice zones back in 2012. Your nation has been decimated. The next could be our own. No more sacrifice zones. No more sacrifice zones. A little bit about me. Uh, I grew up, I lived all of my life in Gaza. All of my family right now are experiencing genocide. And also I am one of the plaintiffs of the genocide case against Biden, Austin and Blinken. And we will appeal. But most importantly for us, we will continue to march for freedom in any legal avenue for our justice, liberation, peaceful justice, and self-determination. Because we really need self-determination. We are the longest occupation on this earth. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! There are no shelters, nowhere you can hide. Life is nothing like it is on the other side. There's nowhere to escape from the killing and the stress. The pilots bomb the hospitals where people convalesce. Freedom for Gaza. Freedom for Gaza. Fight for freedom for Gaza. Freedom 
freedom for Gaza, fight for freedom for Gaza. Representing Cambridge and Somerville, and I'm proud to say we are the first two communities in Massachusetts to officially call for a ceasefire yeah. in Gaza. Uh, we know that the military, industrial, congressional, media, think tank, corporate complex, all of those institutions that are egging the United States on to continue with an aggressive foreign policy, we know they're only too happy for us to continue sending billions of dollars to Ukraine without any plan for peace. And so we need our government to actively work toward peace and achieve it urgently. Somebody's hurting my brother and it's gone on far too long and we won't be silent anymore. Peace, salam, shalom.